How's it going, guys? I'm Josh. And I have the power! And this is Grosh Talk. Yeah! Do you want a popsicle? Definitely Grosh Talk's manliest moment. <laughs> What's up, guys? You're watching Grosh Talk. Let's, Let's fucking, fucking talk. talk about it. What the hell, dude? <laughs> so, when I was younger, and actually right now okay. as well, uh, I'm, I've been a big fan of Pokemon most of my oh, life. Oh, of course. It's just like the majority, I'm assuming, of the people that are watching right now. I, I would hope so. Recently, we found out that um, in scientific terms, there's actually Pokemon-related proteins. that are, They're named after Pokemon. Like, proteins for the body. Yes. Like, that actually help us function? And yeah. There's one actually called Pikachurin, which really? is oh, named... Really? Who, who is that named after? Snorlax. Yes. Snorlax. You got it. Yeah. It's Pikachu. The point of the protein is to efficiently transmit visual information, and they just... They named it after Pikachu. Maybe it has something to do with That's the, stupid. With, I don't like, like it. Like, you know how... Well, it's all neurons in the brain that, like, there's electricity that goes through yeah, it. Yeah. Maybe I that's suppose. why. But it, they should have named it after a neuron, then. Yeah. It's 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 in your ocular thing. The ocular cavity. The ocular cavity. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. I don't, they could have done something better with it. I feel they, like it was a waste of the name Pikachu. They've done worse. There's actually uh, a gene called Pokemon, which is uh, an acronym. It's Okay, it's an acronym. It's an acronym. It's, it's not, not just called Pokemon, Pokemon straight yeah. up. Okay. No, it, it's an acronym for Poke Ethroid Myeloid Autogenic Factor. Good. Sounds Long good. Day. Uh, but it's the master switch for cancer. Not good. That's not good at all. So they use the name Pokemon for, for a... the gene that causes cancer. That can't be good. No. Uh, in fact, the creators of Pokemon actually came out and said, you can't do this yeah. because we can't have our our name sullied by the, the thing that causes cancer. Cancer causing gene, yeah. yeah. That's pretty... So they had to change it. They changed it to ZBTB7. Which is a lot better. It's a better name for a cancer causing gene. Yeah, it seems odd that they would go for an anime character. Like, was it luck? Like, was it just? I don't think it just it happened. Was, no, to... they named it after Pikachu. They really? named Pikachu and after Pikachu. So they're grown men. Yeah. Well, they're scientists. I'm assuming they're not kids. Fair enough. Yeah. But that's just what I, I just imagine a bunch of little kids and they'd be like, "I found a new gene. What do we call it?" It's like that movie, Baby Geniuses. Like it's nothing that, like that. That's what exactly what it's like. It's nothing like that. You're right, it's nothing like that. <laughs> Speaking of the human body, mm -hmm. um, I don't know about you, but I definitely have a bit of a personal bubble. Yes. I'm not really a fan of being touched or prodded or poked. A hug? Absolute. High fives any day. Only when they're, you're expecting it. Right, I don't want a hug from behind. Well. Sometimes. Depends. But if they've got a good, mm, squeezy hug. Anyways. I don't like to be poked, yes. is my point. Now, a woman in Tennessee agrees with me on this, and in fact, don't. Graham, if you were anybody else, God, I would have slapped you so fast. <laughs> a woman in Tennessee agrees with this. Okay. Okay? But the thing is, she doesn't like to be cyberpoked. Oh. Her, her personal bubble stretches a little farther. <laughs> Onto the internet. <laughs> Onto the internet, yeah. The interwebs, she doesn't yeah. like to be poked. Her, like on Facebook? Her inter yes, that's exactly what I mean. Okay. So, if you use Facebook, if you don't live under a rock, then you know that there's a poke function. Is it still there? Or it's still around. Is it? Yes. I have still seen poke it your friends. In a long time. Uh, the best way to explain a poke is like calling somebody from across a very crowded room. Okay, so you send them a poke. It's hey, not, Bill! Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So you're just kind of saying, hey, I was on your profile, didn't really feel like leaving a message that anyone else could see, but. I poked you. I poked you. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, one woman in Tennessee was arrested for poking a friend too much. Yes. This woman uh, became aggravated with the amount of pokes that she found on her wall. Now, they didn't disclose how many pokes. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many pokes it takes to be arrested. That seems kind of outrageous. It's really outrageous. Now, the arrest went through. Uh -huh. She's going on trial. The thing is that if this trial passes, she could be in jail up to like 29 days. Really? Yeah. For cyberpunk. For poking, yeah. So I, it's pretty you serious. Can, stuff. You can block people on Facebook. You don't need. Oh to be, yeah. You don't need to be friends with everybody. Just saying. So yeah, uh, if it ever comes to that point where you have that one friend who just won't stop poking you, consider 
just deleting them off Facebook before calling the police. Mm-hmm. And you'd think they have had they've had better things to do. Like yeah. this, this is a waste of court time. This is a waste of court money. Like so, to so it says here you poked your friend. Did you? Yeah, are you explain yourself? Yeah. And so now the number one case that she has, uh-huh. that the first thing that the police are gonna look into is to see if somebody else broke into her computer, used her computer to poke her, and then, you know, got out and hid away. That's the night. That seems like a very, very stupid crime to commit. It seems like a very likely story to me. Does it? Yeah. Oh. See if you're singing that same tune when some masked, handsome burglar sneaks into your room Are one you night. break into my room? Whoa. Let's not name names. <laughs> I'm being hypothetical. This is free th- flowing conversation. Okay. I almost said free throwing conversation. But we're not throwing things but for we're not, free. We're not throwing words for free. We're throwing Nothing is them free. at you. For, for the price. cheap. <laughs> for a great deal. <laughs> she opens up, logs into Facebook. She's having a really bad day. She logs in. She just flips her computer, calls the police. She was, it was just a bad luck day. She shouldn't have poked her that many times that day. Mm-hmm. Maybe she really needed her attention about something. Maybe. Yeah. And she just didn't want to put it out. She just, This is some private information. Not even a personal message. Not even a personal message. You, I got, need, to poke, you need to this, poke me back now. <laughs> You don't poke me like right now. Shit is going to hit the fan. And I don't want shit on my fan. Because that would get everywhere. I don't have time to clean that shit because I'm trying to get a hold of you. So poke me back. She hangs up the computer. <laughs> poke me back. Click. <laughs> Another thing I hate on Facebook are attention whores. People who say things like, oh, I've had such a bad day, or I can't believe this happened. Yeah. And then people are like, oh my god, oh my god, like being good friends. Like, oh, what's wrong? What Can we yeah, do something for you? Yeah. And they're like, I don't want to talk about Nothing's it. wrong. Like, don't Nothing's post wrong. it on Facebook. Fair enough. But, I mean, Facebook is like a, it's a way It's not a diary. diary. It's an online journal. It's not an online journal. It's made for that. Th- do, they do, wouldn't do have what, status you know what is they an wouldn't online have, journal? They wouldn't have status otherwise. Blogs. Yes. Yeah, of course. So get a blog. It's an open blog. What else are you going to type statuses about? You're not going to type... You type statuses about... What you're doing. Yeah, what you're doing. What you're doing, how you're feeling. Really? Yeah. You've never posted a blog that says, oh, having a great day, or a, a status on Facebook. Having a great day. No. You never. I've never... I I've, call... Bullying. You can go through my whole... I'm not I, going to do I've that. I've never done that. I don't care. The only thing I've, I've ever done is like... Um, Either like thanks for the birthday wishes. Yeah, because I get thousands of them. Um, I'm not one of them. You, yeah, you're not. Neither's arm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I posted one when uh I drove the Ferrari. Uh huh. I posted one when I saved some baby birds. That's you have not. When's the last time you posted a Facebook status? Probably the Ferrari one. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, well, I post statuses a lot. Okay. You know what? So maybe I, I wouldn't call myself an attention whore, though. I do know who you're talking about, though. Yeah. I know, you know exactly who you're talking about. Not a specific person, but those type of people. Right, yeah, of yes. course. And to go along with that, people who post pictures of them doing narcotics, doing drugs. That stuff is not... I right. get a lot of that yeah. on my Facebook. I don't know why I get I, so much of it yes. from different people. Yeah. But yeah, they... Right there. I'm just like, this is still illegal, right? Like, it's still illegal? Yeah, it, it, it's so dumb. Because there's cases like that where, like, a, a guy siphoned gas from a cop's car. Brilliant. Took a picture of it. Brilliant. Posted it on Facebook. Yeah. And then got arrested because he had proof that he did it. That takes attention whore to a whole new level. That's just stupid. That's stupidity. It's ridiculous. Yeah. You, you deserve to get caught. You it, deserve to be poured... Gasoline all over you. It's the same kind of thing with people who post uh, them doing illegal stuff on YouTube. Yeah. Um, there was something similar to the the gas siphoning one. Mm-hmm. There was a, a biker who was doing like close to 200 miles an hour going down a freeway. Okay. Uh, took video of it from like a, a helmet cam. Or like a GoPro or whatever. Yeah, so it, like, he, yeah. it had him on him. Yeah. And um, cops saw it and put him on the most wanted list for, yeah. for that... So that's different because um, you can't really get somebody for speeding weeks later, right? There's a, there's a certain amount of time can you, you not? get. I don't, I don't think I w- so. I, I know traffic, traffic cameras are different. 
running a red light is different. I don't know about speeding in a lot of places. So if you had video proof that somebody... Because you could say my, odo- like my speedometer is wrong. Like There's so many ways you could go around that. Because video can only go so far. You could say I sped it up and Photoshop the picture. Like I, I guess but that's true. In a, in a way where a photograph is a lot different. Like if there was a if there was a picture of somebody who had a radar gun and it was quick and they saw it, that's different. It's somebody running a red light, that's different. You know, I guess it's, so. It's something that they weren't there to prove. Yeah. There's no real uh, maybe and like somebody uh, calling in. Yeah. That's different. If there are people on the highway who are calling in and being like, "There's a guy. It's a red motorcycle. He's wearing blah blah blah. He's doing blah mm-hmm. blah blah." That's a lot different. Like I've I've seen videos on YouTube of like illegal street races. Oh yeah, tons. And like they do the whole video, and it's like all the racing on these these highways at night, mm-hmm. right? And then at the very end, there's like this little disclaimer, and it's like all the video footage you saw was fake. It was yeah. it was all digitally like made that. and yeah. stuff like that. I'm like, does that ma- like does that make it? Okay? I'm sure it covers them. I'm almost positive it covers them. That's so weird. That is so weird. Yeah, no. I, don't, I don't understand how that, that actually works. What can you do? Nothing. Nothing. Do it yourself. Do it myself. Yeah. <laughs> Crack that v 8 whip, huh? No, that, that's not me. That was a computer-generated image. So. <laughs> really? Uh, yep. Yeah. Well then, you have a good day then. Thank you. Speedy McSpeeder. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like what you saw, hit the thumbs up button down below. It helps the show a lot. If you want to leave a comment, ask us a question, or talk about one of our topics, do that in the comment area down below. Right there. If you want to watch it with your friends, share it to your Facebooks or your Twitters. And last but not least, if you want to watch more of our videos or be alerted when new ones come out, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. We'll talk to you later. Peace. Clink. Clinkly, clinkly, so we can drinkly, drinkly.